Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today with a minor topic and that is what that is the diode capacitance. So I will write the capacitance of a diode. So we have the, we have seen the resistance of a diode, we've seen the barrier potential of a diode. Today we see the capacitance of a diode. A practical diode will have some capacitance. Where does this capacitance come from? So as you know very well you have a depletion region. You have a depletion layer. Uh, you have a depletion layer. Let me write in short depletion layer. What, do it, what does the depletion layer have? It has positive and negative ions which means they have positive and negative charges so when you have positive negative charges at a distance you have what you have the phenomena of capacitance so which means we will have the phenomena of capacitance over here why because we have positive and negative charges over here fine yes so the reason why do we why do we study the capacitance of a diode is again the same as we studied the 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 i believe the resistance levels i told you so because we equivalent circuit so we have to represent the diode in terms of an equivalent circuit and that equivalent circuit is in terms of resistance inductance or capacitance so that is why we have to study the capacitance of a diode also fine so there are basically two types of capacitances you could say or you could say two uh, not yes types you know you could say <laughs> but the thing is that they exist you could say the two types are classified on the basis of of when the diode is forward biased when reverse biased but the thing is that they both exist in both the cases but they are one is dominant in the forward bias so we study it over there and one is dominant in the reverse bias so we study it over there is that fine so let's say the first that we see is the junction capacitance the first that we see is the junction capacitance uh, let me give it the name over here junction capacitance now when do we have this capacitance is when the diode is reverse biased okay so we have this when the diode is reverse biased now you know very well very well that when a diode is reverse biased the width of the depletion region would increase width of the depletion region would increase then what then the no biasing case you know what the width of the depletion region is we've seen how does it increase why does it increases so if the width of the depletion region would increase now what do you do you further if you increase the reverse bias voltage you further increase it this means that the the width of the depletion region would further increase and if the width of the depletion region further increases this means you have more number of positive ions you have more number of negative ions right so which means what if i draw a concentration graph over here i believe i have not drawn it previously any time so if uh, if this is my this is your vertical axis this is your horizontal axis so the horizontal axis represents the n type material on the right side and it represents it represents the p type material on the left side all right and on the this vertical axis this vertical axis this is your x is equal to zero position which is your metallurgical junction position metallurgical junction position fine so now we have doping on the one side and on the other side so on one side we have the doping on the n side material and that is let's say represented by n d the concentration and similarly the 
except the concentration over here on the P side is represented by an N A. So this is how we represent it. So this basically is now your width of the depletion region you could say. And now further, further if you have increased the voltage, so if this case I draw with the black color, so further this word, the number of ions would increase by this much amount. Isn't it like this? It is. Okay. So what will happen? What have we done basically is if, if you know your VR, let's say it increases by some change and I name it a delta VR, what will happen? The depletion layer would increase on both the sides. Depletion layer will increase on both the sides. Isn't it like this? It is. Why? You know it. Why? In the reverse bias case. And this is acting as the capacitor now. So the charge inside the depletion layer would also increase. This implies what? That the charge inside go to the depletion layer will increase. Why will this charge increase? Because the number of charges has increased. So the number of charges has increased. And this is what we see. So if, if, if you let me draw the diagram over here. So if this is your previous depletion layer, this is your junction, fine. Now what happens is with a hole over here we have with an electron positive charges and, and of course you can write draw a hole over here draw an electron over here. Now what happens is due to the reverse biasing when this is reverse bias this is connected to the negative terminal this is connected to the positive terminal what happens is more ions would come here more would come here and this is the new depletion layer and so which means have a look whatever have I written is it's it's inside the diagram the charge has increased why because the number of charge carriers inside has increased so the junction capacitance let me write it by a cj this is given by you know very well the formula you would know so the charge per unit voltage so this would be equal to the change of voltage uh, no sorry the change of charge in the depletion layer to the change of reverse biased voltage right which you could also write in the derivative form dq upon dvr is that fine it is and if you want to know the proper relation which we are not interested in at this level so uh, uh, so the relation is that this this C junction is directly proportional to VR to the power minus 1 over 2 and the units to this C junction this is in the units of picofarads this is the unit the charge per unit volt What's the charge? The charge is this, the change in charge, and then the change in the voltage, you know how much you have increased. So this was one type of the capacitance. The next is the diffusion capacitance, or it's also called the storage capacitance. So number two is the diffusion, or it's also called the storage capacitance. So what do we have in this case? Now this we study when? When the diode is under a forward bias condition. We study when this when we have forward biasing.
study when this is forward bust so suppose that you have an initial depletion layer let me draw the diode over here once again so this is if your diode this is your depletion layer right so and over here you have negative with a whole negative with a whole negative with a whole electron in minority positive with an electron positive with an electron and a whole in minority yes yes now what have you done you have reverse you have forward biased it you have a minus over here you have a plus over here now what happens is you have there is a depletion layer you have an inside electric field as well you should know this over here you also had this over here you also have it this electric field right now what will happen if you have applied a forward bias what happens is that the battery electric field would push this hole from the p side to the n side this negative would push this electron from the n side to the p side yes yes so what would i write i would write over here that the battery will do what this implies that hole moves from p to n and the electrons move from n to p this is p side this is n side this is this is due to what this is due to the external source voltage across the diode applied the charge carriers uh, go cross from one region to the other if you consider the depletion layer consider the depletion layer only So if this was negative, right, this was positive, you have a junction over here and this is your depletion layer. So what happened, what happened that the, the, the holes from over here crossed into there, so you can draw it over here, similarly the electrons from there crossed into the P side. So I could draw it over here. Isn't it like this? And this is the already P side over where you have the, the holes in majority. This is the N side where you have the electrons in majority. It's clear? It is. Now what happens? So this, this crossing, this crossing of electrons uh, and holes due to the battery from one region to another this we would term as the 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 charging of the capacitor so this we, we say is the charging of capacitor is that fine it is now what happens now what happens is that these electrons We'll try to diffuse, we'll try to move inside the p-time material, right? Over here, I've only shown it till the crossing, right? And these holes, they would also try to diffuse inside the n-type material. Maybe recombine later, why? Because holes are here in majority, so these electrons would recombine with these holes. Over here, the electrons are in majority, so the, the, the holes with these will recombine with those electrons, right? So they would diffuse. Now I would write these charge carriers. will diffuse into their respective regions where they have crossed and where they have crossed so i would write that the electrons diffuse into what into p type and the holes would diffuse into the n type and now this this would happen what this phenomena we would call as the discharging of capacitor this phenomena would be now the discharging of the 
capacitor. This is the discharging of the capacitor. So these are my notes. Okay, I, I have prepared the lecture. Anyways, the concentration. If you show, if you show it on the concentration graph. So do you want me to show it? Do you want me to show it? So let's see. We show it. Uh, so if this is your concentration graph, and if this is your your what? The, the concentration and this re, this side represents your n type and this side represents your p type so so what happened and the concentration is what you know it very well the concentration is n i squared divided by n a or n d for whatever you are talking fine so on the n side on the n side you uh, you have what you have uh, the electrons in majority so i would show over here the electrons in majority so this is your n uh, d right n d and similarly you have it in minority on the p side so so this blue color is for electrons now let's say with the red color so the so the elect the holes are in majority on the p side and they are in minority on the n side so this red color is for the holes yes so that is it so suddenly electron concentration in p side and the whole concentration in n side increases when when it's forward biased so when you forward bias it you have what you have you have holes over here you have electrons over here isn't it like this so the concentration on each side increases now due to diffusion if the concentration has increased so they would try to go to a lower concentration area so what will happen they will move from a higher concentration to a lower concentration due to the process of diffusion and this would be called as the discharging of the capacitor right so electrons and holes cross the region that is uh, that is the charging of the capacitor and when they diffuse into the region recombine that is called the discharging of the capacitor fine so if we have a formula for this uh, and that is the, the the diffusion capacitance or cd or it's also the storage capacitance cs so the formula is id times t naught tau naught divided by 2 times vt 2 times vt and this uh, is in, in in the range of nanofarads this is in the range of nanofarads fine and what is this tau naught so this is the lifetime of the charge carriers and I will tell you what does this mean. Tau naught, this the book has lifetime of the charge carriers. Vt thermal voltage. You have a value at room temperature that is 0.26 millivolt or something like that, or 26 millivolt. I don't remember if you know it. And Id is the diode current. So I believe that is it. So let's see if we have uh, anything to see in the book and the book states what that every electronic device is frequency sensitive at lower frequencies small levels of capacitance determined by x 1 over 2 pi fc so high so lower frequencies capacitor is represented by an open circuit high frequencies capacitor is represented by a short circuit you have another formula this is ct is what uh, the transition or depletion region capacitance is determined by you have a formula over here so you please check it out uh, tau is the minority carrier lifetime take to hold to recombine with an electron 
so this is what uh, the lifetime of charge carriers to recombine right the so lifetime means what the electron recombine with a hole or a hole recombines with an electron so this is basically that recombination time you could say and and what do we have else so we have is that the the capacitive effects described before, uh, by capacitor in parallel with the ideal diode for low or mid frequency applications however the capacitor is normally not included in the diode symbol so in the equivalent circuits in the equivalent circuits how do you represent the diode with the capacitor you represent it in parallel with it you have a diode right so you have the the capacitance in parallel with it right this is your one capacitance and this is your what are the names this is cj let's say and this is cd the book has another name to it transition capacitance or what transition capacitance so this is also called transition capacitance uh, let me let me write it somewhere over here so we'll write it over here that this cj is also called transition capacitance so for lower and mid range frequency applications these two are neglected for higher frequency applications we have to include them we have to include them why because in higher frequency the capacitance is what the capacitance is 1 over 2 pi fc so for a higher frequencies this would act as a short circuit in lower frequencies why is it uh, uh, excluded or not included because at lower frequencies so uh, this will act as an open circuit the capacitor so this topic is also uh, you know a bit necessary for the equivalent circuits we already seen the equivalent circuit the book has not discussed it over there we will not discuss it in the equivalent circuit we will not show it somewhere but it's important for the understanding purposes otherwise we don't have anything to do with it further see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye